So this is what I see coming out of my house, coming into my shop. Let me take you around and give you a tour. So there's the door I just came out of, and in typical shop tour fashion, I'm just going to go around the room and show you what I have. Now, first of all, I do have the mechanicals for my house located in my garage. So I've got my furnace, my air filter, all that stuff. I have to keep it very clean in my shop, otherwise all the dust ends up in my house. Now over here, I've got some wood storage. I keep some sheet goods here, some select boards, a few things like that. There's wood all over the place and uh, anywhere there's room for it, I put it somewhere. Uh, this is a project I'm working on with a student right now. This is the only machine in the shop besides my CNC that I actually have to pull out and hook up to work on. And that's my drum sander. Let me pull that out. So this is my Supermax 1938 drum sander. I use this just about on every single project that I make in the shop. Uh, I built a custom base for it. It's a mobile cart. Everything on my shop has to be mobile. All this stuff gets packed up almost every night and pushed over to one side so my wife can get her car in here. Below here I've got my rigid um, oscillating spindle sander and also a drawer here where I keep all the supplies for this. Over here in the corner, it's kind of hard to see, but this is my CNC machine. This is the, another machine I have to pull out to use. I don't use it that often. I use it a lot to make templates and patterns. It's a Shape Oco 3 and I really like it. This cart is fully self-contained and uh, there's a PC, a monitor, it's got Wi-Fi so I can access my network and all my files. It really comes in handy when you need it. Now this is just a mobile cart that used to have my thickness planer on it, but now I'm just going to use it as a cart to put materials on as I'm milling them up in the different stations. And I also keep a lot of veneering supplies down here. Now this corner is just well, it's garage stuff. This is a garage. So I've got lawn equipment. There's the garage entry door going out to the backyard. Now I do also have some more storage over here and I keep a lot of sheet goods over here and little scraps and cutoffs. You never know when you're going to need any of that. Now I do have a dedicated morrising machine and this is the Powermatic. Uh, again, I've built a custom mobile cart for it. It's got four drawers in there. A couple of them are actually empty. Uh, this has been a very, very good machine for me. Whenever I make Morrison tenon joinery, this is what I use, and uh, it's very, very solid. Now here, I've got my miter saw station. I've got a Festool Capex, and I've got extension wings on it. Uh, they're Ankara, of course, just like just about everything in my shop that can be Ankara is Ankara, and uh, very, very accurate down to 32nd of an inch. Now down here underneath, there's actually a built-in vac system and a dust deputy. So whenever I turn the saw on, it automatically turns on. So that works pretty well. Back here is my lathe, which I don't use much at all. I basically do spindle turnings when I have to. I'm not the world's greatest turner, but uh, I can turn when I need to. Now back here is a tall cabinet, and in there houses a lot of miscellaneous stuff. I've got some old motors in there. I've got some jigs and accessories that I have. Uh, just a lot of random things. Now this is my anchor router table. I built this a couple years ago and it's been wonderful. Let me pull it out and show you a few things on it. Now there's a lot of storage in here. I've got six drawers. Up here I keep accessories that I need to get at the router table. I've got router bit storage in here. And then I've got a couple more drawers that just have random miscellaneous stuff in it for the router table. Now this does have an anchor lift in it. Uh, with a three and a quarter horsepower Porter cable motor. I've got the LS25 uh, super system from Ankara for the fence. I've been using Ankara products, especially the router fence, for well over 20 years now, and I really love their stuff. Now, this is my Festool dust extractor. It's a CT26. I do have an Oneida Super Dust Deputy on here, or Ultimate Dust Deputy. I forget what it's called. It's one of those two. It's all static free. I've got my own little boom arm here, 
and I can reach just about anywhere in the shop if I pull this out about three or four feet. Most of the time it just stays in this one spot and the hose will reach over to where my MFT table is. Now this is my dust collector. It's a three horsepower Dust Gorilla Portable from Unita. It does have the smart motor in it. It's pretty cool. It's a three phase system with a variable frequency drive on it and a sensor that automatically senses how much resistance is coming in not only on the front end but also the back end for the cartridge and it raises and lowers the speed of the motor depending on what I need to get the best extraction. Now this is my lumber rack. Now I do use vertical storage. I much prefer it rather than horizontal. I don't have to move boards out of the way. I can just kind of flick through them like a deck of cards which is really handy. I keep a lot of walnut, cherry, maple, and poplar in inventory. This is almost all air dried lumber. I get it from a local sawyer. Uh, if I've got a commission project that I'm building, I usually order that and they drop it off right to my front door. Now back here in this corner is my scrap bin cart, which is always overflowing with stuff. It's like a big huge game of Jenga every time I want to pull a board out of here. One of these days I'll clean that up. I do every couple three years, but uh, for now <laughs> it's going to stay like that. Now this is the newest addition to my shop. This is a Jet uh, 12 inch helical head combination joiner planer. I've had it for about three weeks now and it's just been fantastic. Uh, it takes about a minute or two to change it over from joiner to planer. These handles just come up and then the whole top flips up. I raise the bed up and then I can use it as a thickness planer. Put it back down I can use it as a joiner. Now I had an 8 inch Grizzly before this with helical heads on it that I really loved. But it did take up a lot more room than this and I also had a separate thickness planer. So in my small shop here this makes a lot of sense. Another thing I should mention is that uh, all my tools are hooked up to an automatic dust collection switch. So when I, whenever I turn a machine on, my dust collector turns on also. Now here in the center of the shop, I've got like a big island. Now on it is my table saw, my band saw, my MFT outfeed table and my assembly table. Let's start here at the assembly table. Now this is my assembly table. It's about six feet long and almost three feet wide. It's got a torsion box top, very flat. There's no twist in it. It's a great place to assemble things. I've also got a bunch of sliding drawers underneath and there's room for 18 sustainers on here. And I also keep my vacuum pump and also some other accessories underneath. And uh, this is again on wheels. <laughs> this is one of the pieces that has to be moved over here when my wife parks here. On this side of it I also keep my uh, Incra Crosscut Sled which is the Miter Express. Uh, this is a fantastic crosscut sled. I've had lots of different shop made ones over the years and this just is, is so much better than anything I've ever used. Now this is my MFT outfeed table. I did make this. It does have a Festool MFT top, but the frame around it is all custom made. Uh, I've got guide rails on here for the Festool accessories. And uh, this has worked really, really well. This does detach from my table saw, so I can store it on top of here when this rolls back in that corner and uh, get it out of the way. But uh, having an outfeed table is really nice. Plus, I can use the uh, holes here to clamp stuff, and I, I use this quite a bit. It's been a really, really good addition to the shop. Now, this is my table saw. It is a Powermatic PM2000. It is the five horsepower model. Uh, I've got a 32 inch Incra table saw fence on it. I've had that fence for about three years. It was actually on my old table saw, and I really, really love that thing. I also have these, which is the Jessam clear cut stock guides. For the table saw. Those act as feather boards. Um, they just work fantastically well. I've also got a drawer underneath here and I usually just keep some push sticks and some other items in there that I need to be handy when I'm using the table saw. 
my miter gauge, which is a Incra 1000 HD. Again, very, very nice. Now this is my bandsaw. It's a Powermatic PM 1500. It's a three horsepower motor on it. And I believe it's got 14 inches resaw capacity. I do keep a three quarter inch carbide tip blade on here. I do a lot of resawing on it and that's a really good blade for it. The fence on this thing is just fantastic. Uh, the bandsaw I had before was good, but this one is just, just awesome. So I've got this little bump out in my garage. It's about eight by 12, I think. And uh, this has just been a saving grace for my shop. If I didn't have this extra room, it would be really, really difficult in here because this is just a two car garage. Now here's a workbench I built last year or beginning of this year. And uh, it's small, but it weighs a ton. It's made out of ash. Uh, it probably weighs in its current state with that drawer box full underneath, I would say probably 300 pounds. I do have the front vise on it, and then I've got the uh, bench crafted high vise on it, which works really well for the few times when I need to use hand tools on there. Uh, this I built last summer, which was all these cabinets. And these things have just been a godsend. I've got 40 drawers in here. I've got storage up above long term. Uh, those two black areas right there are where speakers are behind. I've got a computer, a TV set. Um, I keep all my hand tools that I use quite often up here in this. And uh, just a lot of accessories and stuff. This is really nice because as far as shop organization goes, at the end of the day when I need to pack up everything, everything has a place and it just goes back where it should be and I can get the whole shop cleaned up in about 10 minutes. That includes putting everything back to get my wife's car in here and sweeping the floor, which is pretty cool. Now down here is my air compressor and I've got a 50 foot hose on a hose reel. Uh, that's a roll air. I think the model number is a JC10. It's really, really super quiet. Uh, here I've got my drill press which is a Steel City 13 inch. This has been a really good drill press for me, uh, especially with the woodpecker's table. And I've got a laser on there. Uh, I don't know, I had a full size drill press before. It was very handy. This one just takes up less room. It's easier to move around. It's not as top heavy as the other one was. I've got plenty of storage underneath. There's four drawers. Those are all full actually. Uh, I've got my woodpecker square. Now over here, I do have a second bandsaw, which is a 10 inch Craftsman, which is the same thing as the Rikon 10 inch. A friend of mine, Mike Fulton, gave that to me. I've just got this small card underneath with some more storage. I've got door, drawers all over the place. If I counted up, I think I would have probably 60 drawers in here. Well, this is my clamp rack. There has to be a space up here. I have to leave open so I can get that door open. But uh, this is a J-Base design for the holders. And I've got a lot of clamps in a very small area. And it's nice because it's very close to my assembly table and also my MFT table. I can get at all those pretty quick. You know, they say you can never have too many clamps. I Actually, I think I have just the right amount. I could always use more, but I've never wanted for anything. Now, these two storage cabinets here, this one is mine. That one is my wife's. Uh, this one here, I keep some items stored on the front of it. I've got some uh, right angle fixtures for my track, and I've also got tracks themselves. I think I've got four over here. This is the uh, track to cross cut on my MFT top, and also the guide so I can rip stock with my track saw. In this cabinet I keep a lot of, well, almost all of my finishing supplies. I'm not going to open it up, it's a mess. And there are just cans in there. Now in this corner, not too much exciting. Uh, I keep a lot of calls down here for my vacuum bag. I've got two platens over here which are, there's a 4x4 four four and a 2x4 and between the two of them I can make a you know, a four by six. And uh, that's been good enough for me so far. I've got a big piece of star from over here. I set on my tables to use as a cutting station. And of course, I've got three different vac bags. 
there's my drying rack and uh, well there's a water softener and of course the refrigerator which I keep cold drinks in for myself and guests that may stop by the shop so that's my shop tour uh, it's a standard two-car garage I've got that little bump out which helps out quite a bit almost everything is mobile like I said and uh, it's a really good space